Hi, I'm Becky and I'm from Hi on Keto and today I am going to make a recipe from my new cookbook from Keto Connect. I'm so excited to try. It is the giant skillet cookie for two. Today I'm going to make it for three, my husband, daughter, and I. This is my daughter Jasmine. She wanted to be here for the recipe. So I am first <laughs> going to take some butter and cream cheese that I have already softened in the microwave and put it into a large mixing bowl and I am going to also mix in my heavy whipping cream vanilla extract and stevia drops I will put in the description the um, quantities of each of these items and one egg yolk just added my egg yolk in now I am going to take my hand mixer and blend this all together. Make sure to use a high bowl because it does splatter everywhere and can make a large mess. Now I'm going to take my almond flour, salt, baking powder, and beef gelatin which is going to help make it nice and moist and chewy and add this into my wet mixture. blend together. Now what I like to do is scrape down the sides. Make sure you get everything nice and incorporated. You see you got a nice little doughy batter. You're going to take your chocolate chips, which I could not find chocolate chips today. They were out at my store. So I took some Lily's chocolate and just cut it up. I don't want to use all of this. So I'm going to put about half because I'm going to reserve some for putting on top. Now you don't want to use your mixer now. Keep that put aside. You're just going to fold it in. You don't want them chocolate chips to get broke up. Now, using like a six inch size uh, pan here, which has already been greased with some um, coconut oil that I put in beforehand. I'm gonna take the dough here. I do. Thank you, baby girl. Hold on. Since I'm making this for my family, I don't mind using my finger a little bit. <laughs> but now I'm going to smooth it across, trying to make it very even. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to push this just so we can get it in the oven so we can all try it before it's time for bed and school tomorrow. Yeah, in my program. So that looks pretty good, I think. Now, so, now I'm going to take some of these chocolate chips and just sprinkle on the top. Here, I'll give you one of your hands. So let's check this out. It's been in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350. We'll go about another 10 minutes for a total of 20 minutes here on the cookie. Looking pretty good. Smells amazing. Smells like a regular cookie. So the cookie's done. Ooh, look at that. Nice brown. We're going to let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then we'll get a try. It. So I'm back with my cookie. It's been about 15 minutes. It's cooled off. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and let y'all know how it is. Mm. Wow. That is really good. It reminds me of a chocolate chip cookie that you would have before keto. I think everybody needs to try this. 
look it up. I will put the ingredients in the bottom. Um, again, this is Becky and Tasha from High End Keto. And make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Becky Keto underscore journey. Thank you.